Thought I'd just start in the engine bay again, which uh, still has no engine. So it is purely a bay. But uh, we're getting pretty close. Uh, things on the back from the dyno. Uh, they've got a few parts off. I'm just doing a couple of mods that uh, the, um, the guys at uh, John Sydney's recommended, which I know to be right. Which these two here, I've just drilled and tapped and then took the manifold off. And these are to. Uh, I'm going to be plumbing water, or well, more air that gets trapped in these places, um, up and around. And I've got a water net uh, spacer coming that's got 8 AM um, threads in it, and we'll just run a couple of AM lines from each side. Um, they've evidently lost more than one methanol engine through trapping air pockets in the rear. I've seen this mod done quite a bit, so I probably should have already been onto that. But um, yeah, purely to bleed the air out and know that those, especially with the early heads, so that's possibly a contributing factor to my last fail, along with about three or four other things that they mentioned. We won't go into them. So uh, yeah, I've got manifold gaskets ready to go. I used to uh, modify and hack out with the die grinder. Um, these ones that come in the uh, Philpro $80 basic kit, you know, the rebuild kit. So uh, I thought I'd try out the part number specific, which without getting them out yet, I can see that these are probably the right shape for the head. What a mystery that was. You follow the instructions and we'll see how we go. But um, yeah, anyway, they're about 35 I got these for, so it just, yeah, I don't know if it's going to be economical to go that way, but we'll see how we go and see how the fit is because I do spend quite a lot of time die grinding these out and trying to match them up. And you know, they seal fine, but it's difficult. So, um, yeah, I need a, a, at least a swap in uh, that I know I can go to the shop and buy if I need to get the manifold off for any reason, if there's any valve train problems. Um, yeah, so we're just waiting for stud girdle, uh, that will be the other mod to the engine, and I've got some mesh here, this is my other job that I'm going to get into tonight, so I'm going to cut a couple of these up and put a bit of the old uh, metal world on there, get these into the returns in the valley, so that, um, yeah, if you lose a rocker arm, all the needles don't go down and get sucked up by the dry sump pump, that is to be avoided. But uh, yeah, that's the small mods for the engine. That should be enough to get that in then. And um, the other main thing to do after that will be uh, with the fuel system, which I've got to find somewhere to. Um, hang on. I've got to find somewhere to put uh, a regulator now, even though I've plumbed in all this new stuff here for fuel pressure gauge and uh, warning we've got to get rid of this old girl which goes to 6am at the carb it's 8am in but um, yeah it's just uh, you don't want to run a dead hen system they're saying after anything over 450 horsepower which aside from that I suspect that the uh, ball that's in this is uh, about probably what it'll be quarter being so you know around about six mil and I just don't think it flows enough um, it did the numbers when I've sat here and free flowed it uh, over 20 litres but yeah we'll take advice from the guys who know keep it all 8 in all the way up to the carbs and just run a, what we'll be doing is running it in the same as it was and running a fuel log all the way to the back and I'm suspecting from there I'm going to make a new line that will sweep around to the this here and have the regulator on this side or uh, the shortest way back to the tank because this has to have a return will be to sweep it the other way here and potentially mount it here um, I can shoot a line down I've been under the car looking trying to figure out where to run it uh, there's a lot of exhaust pipe under there so we've got to go into the tunnel which uh, maybe we'll go and have a look at that now 
just going to keep this brief so uh, I can post it. But... I've got a couple of jobs on under here so I've put it back up again. But uh, I'm figuring, knowing that uh, at the end of the gearbox, um, which is about here, and the drive shaft uni is right in this area. So that should then mean that I can run um, basically, yeah, I want to keep pretty much on this radius all the way inside this mount, keep it going all the way. I think I can come through this gap here and just keep going all the way down to the rear and then uh, around under here. This is the bottom uh, arm mount and basically shoot up. Um, there's a hole here, I'm not 100 what that's for, but there's a hole in the rear uh, subframe mount, sorry for my wiggliness. Um, you know, right here, so I can probably get uh, some ADN up there and over the diff and back to the tank, which Sorry, you've been looking at it sideways. The uh, the very new tank's got to come out and get a new fitting on it. it. Hasn't even fired a shot yet, and she's coming out again already. So that's another job for tonight. But uh, let's get all this right, get a return back there, and uh, see how we go. It needs a clean under here. I'm still covered in mud from when that chick put me off it. Sitting down up the back straight, but uh, anyway, it'll all wipe off, I'm sure. But uh, for the mod father, he's been wanting to have a, uh, I think you're, he'd be well up to getting these springs sorted by now. So these are um, from VPW, I had to get from King Springs the little yellow helper on the top. Um, I think that, these are uh, two and a half inch from what I can remember, but up in the uh, top there is just an adjustable seat, and I think these from memory about a 200 pound spring, very light, but uh, yeah, works well. One of the few things that we haven't broken yet.